Well, for a major food manufacturer as a sales rep, I right. go to um, the Big Four. Okay. Day in, day out. Yes. And um, we all as reps obviously speak to each other. And what a lot of companies are doing now, because raw materials are kind of being affected, the supply chain is a little bit off, uh, the companies are focusing on set on producing the biggest selling line. So for argument's sake, if they normally sold 20 different products, but 15 of them sell really well, and they want to prioritize those 15 over the other five, they will stop producing the other five and purely spend more time on production producing those 15 lines that sell better. And so, that is so, the reason why. So that's going to leave some fairly big gaps on the shelves. Absolutely. And that's the reason, like perfect example, like you were speaking about earlier, you were able to get a four pinter, but not able to get a one pinter. Yeah. Well, it's much quicker to keep the production lines bulk moving right. by producing the four pinters rather than the one pinters. And why, and then why have, have the issues? Well, with I it. mean, I'm 50 years old. I've never seen this before. What's happened to screw up the supply chain like this? It's, it's a mixture of things. Um, Brexit. Um, I, I personally did vote for Brexit, and you've changed my mind. I, Not I'm me. I haven't changed your mind. You're literally <laughs> you dealing are, with you the you're literally dealing with the consequences of it, man. It's. I haven't got a clue what he's all about. <laughs> but now I'm like, you know, you know exactly. Well, I, that, yes, you're, you're very I, I'm kind. You're wrong because of what, what you've said. You yes. know what I mean? My, but, that, but, but not I'm just little, me. You can I'm see it now in your it. daily work. You can see the fact that, that I mean, Make yeah. UK, the, the Engineering Employers Federation, said yesterday that just in time global manufacturing supply chains have been replaced in British factories because the pandemic, in part, and Brexit yeah. have caused havoc in production schedules. If only someone had warned you, eh, David? I know, I know. I, I, I hold my hands up to that. You, you, you are the all-seeing gentleman. Oh no, let's not be silly. Be but, but if you, yeah, let, just remember, it's Northern yeah. Ireland next. So don't don't let anyone pretend that it's hard to understand. It's really we, easy. We supply over there as well, and we're wow. having issues getting stock over to Ireland as well. What does what does the light <laughs> at the end of the tunnel look like? Um, to be honest, it, it's it's got to be down to. Um, a trade agreement that is effective for everyone. <laughs> Bless that, you. That's literally <laughs> that I know, I, uh, exactly what you said. The trade agreement we've got now is not worth the paper it's written on. Well, you mean and we need membership need of the si- we need membership of the single market, really? Exactly. Which... We need to go back.